Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to kill her. Please forgive me. It's okay. too late, son. Run! So it's obviously ending with a blood. No! Get out of the way, you two. I shot him twice, are you kidding me? Twice in the back. Are you kidding me? Stay still. Don't move. Hey, uh, it's, it's gonna make me do this scene. I didn't want to do it, but I guess I have to. Jump, you idiot. You didn't jump and reload at the same time. I could have done that. And I'm hustling. Yeah, dig it. Oh, Detective JJ! Hold it right there! Put your weapons down and your hands in the air! Put your weapons down? On your own, goddamn head, be it! <gasps> oh! What? What? Are you kidding me? I didn't mean that to happen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, I didn't mean that to happen. <laughs> Alright, not failing this time. Too late, I'm gonna shoot him. Go. I'm gonna kill him. This mother trucker's going down. Are you kidding me? I missed all those shots? You think that would scare him to drop his gun or something? Yeah! Look at there! I did it! He's going more, but hey! I had to do it! Self-defense, man! Self-defense! That's why I love America! You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. I didn't mean to kill him. I'm sorry. It had to happen. It was kind of cool though. I was like, doosh, doosh, doosh. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Renee's Cafe. So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. Yeah. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Come on, promote me. A golden boy. Awesome. The golden boy. Oh, I found all the clues. Awesome. Eight out of ten questions. Okay. Vehicle damage. Five hundred thirty-four. The car, the car did not kill Lester, but you allowed the driver to duck a failure to stop. Tr oh, who cares? Who cares? I hate when it does that. Like, always goes, oh, you could have done this, but no, you just suck at this game. Shut up, game. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. So I guess he got out of that before because he got injured. Huh. I like this. I like this a lot. So I'm give me kissing. A fallen idol. Oh no. Does this have a naked scene? Because I have to. Oh god. All right. I think this has a naked woman. Um, if that happens, I have to cut the scene because I do not have the software to edit all that. So, um... Yeah. What you? What you? What you? What you? What you? Phelps, 
Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Oh, snap. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. <laughs> what? A Chevy style line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Hmm. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Yeah, we do, Mark. Uh. <laughs> they weren't even his prints, and he still confessed. All right, guys. See you later, fellers. Try not to work too hard. Look at you back in the field. Scared of my eye watching my caterpillar. That's just. I cannot believe I'm that. To fit in. Uh, educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. It breaks your soul, but you'll never fit in. So. What? Yes, I will. I'm gonna go for a jog on this nice little. You know what? This suit's not really working for me that well. I'm going back to Chicago. I always say Chicago in a Chicagoan accent. Yeah, I just change on the fly. They kind of hop the car. Oh, I can't slide on the car. That'd be cool if I could. That burn notice it, man. Right, wh where's my gun? I don't have my gun, dang it. I need my gun. Man, that was a good job. Good job. Good hey, you can't even... Oh, my goodness. You can't even... Oh, my lord. So all the way around this stupid mountain. Just do some stupid things. Because it has to happen this way. Like I was saying, though, if it, um... I have to edit this out if I had to investigate a um, naked scene. So I'm sorry. You can't see that. That's just what's gonna happen every time I see a scene like that. I am sorry, but it has to happen. Unless I either get money, I can buy software to edit that out. Okay? But Her I'm face sorry. looks familiar. Well that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Drivers beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch uh, out for the driver. She cuts rough. I have a feeling since it's a kid, hey, she's just gonna lie. Out of the way, bub. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Nah. Let's check out this chick. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, you if that's Mike. okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. She's still tipsy. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. <laughs> I don't like him either, doll. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us on Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the uh -oh. police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. It's not going to play that way, Miss McAfee. We'll take it from there. <laughs> Relax, detective. You're not nearly as cute when you're mad. What? 
How is that wrong? That was not wrong. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Yeah, we Let's do. Let's go see the coroner. Come on. Will I die? Jump, Cole, jump. Let's go see the stupid corner. As you know, we have to see every stupid scene. But I am a detective. Cause I'm Detective JJ. Oh yeah. You know I love being a detective. Cause detective skills are awesome. Yeah. All right, corner we got. You want to see this, Phelps? There, laid out on the trunk, and that isn't even the best part. Oh God. Hmm. Detective JJ. Oh, pantes. Oh, pantes. The ribs. That's, uh, They've not been weird. torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Ew. That's, uh, that's just disgusting. All right, let's see what's inside this puss. Oh, wow, you just go right for the water. Oh. She's a long way from home. When was this? 12.29. Oh my goodness, she ran away! I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, Dean, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. I wanted to be just like... Oh no! That's a runaway! And mom... Oh no! Alright, license plate! What we got? What we got? <sighs> Alright, let's look in the car. I'm gonna go to the corner for um, stuff. Looks like they're lucky what? they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. That doesn't surprise me. Druggies. JJ doesn't like druggies. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Okay, so we got a murder I scene here. Seen it all. Doesn't surprise me. We should speak me. to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. Oh yeah, yes yeah, she isn't. Kidding me? She's obviously lying. And tell that from a mile away. So talk to her, I'll give her a little sweet talk, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, you're lying to me. I'm gonna shoot you if you don't tell me the truth, because that's how Detective JJ plays. He hasn't played by the rules. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Yeah, you're lying. I think you're lying, Mrs. McCaffrey. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Oh, yeah, I got proof, all right. Mm. Letter from Mother. <laughs> I didn't think so. You should be more careful. Behind the glitz, this can be a very rough old town. What? That was wrong? How? We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop 
which prop house he uses. Yeah. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. No, you're not. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. Oh, yes. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Yeah. Obviously. Okay, I want to end it here. I know I said I would finish the case first, but I'm getting tired. I'm sorry. Don't, don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. All right. Please leave a like, comment, if you want me to drive to crime scenes or any other thing. Or have my partner drive, who I hate very much with a passion. Alright, bye guys. Hope you enjoyed the series. See you next session. Oh yeah, I will.